now that the baseball has been prepared we can put the keel on the baseboard it should hold it nice and tight Of extra screws in to lock these guys into place. And wait a minute. And the next thing is the removal of all the bulkheads. Once again, being five mil ply, the CNC lugs are quite big and hard. And you do need to apply a fair bit of pressure. Get them out. Careful not to damage anything. They are quite large, but there are these legs here which get quite delicate, so you have to be careful. You number them on before you actually cut them out. Otherwise, you could find yourself in a bit of difficulty. And some of them look to be the same size. And these will need to be cleaned up. Final fitting. I won't bore you with the rest of them. This is just a repeat of another six sheets of these. Then we have a large pile of bulkheads. Now, we'll leave it at that for now and uh, you can see what we've done. And basically, you end up with 18 pretty large bulkheads, you see from the size of the hand. Uh, these I will fit into here shortly. And we'll see how they go for a uh, dry fitting. Alright, the next thing to do now is to fit all the bulkheads. These only needed minor sanding to get them to fit flush, fit correctly.
that is all the bulkheads fitted in position. Um, I'll show you how uh, straight they look along the edge. As you look along the bulkheads, you see they're all lined up correctly. We will now fit the false deck and make sure that fits, make sure everything's squared up. Once it's all squared up, we should glue her up and wait another 24 hours. Alright, getting the lower deck. Done. Now that we're happy that everything fits, we can actually uh, glue up the pieces now. Bulkhead number one. Is not to be installed till later and there's a reason for that and you'll see why when we completed this um, I'll glue two or three of these into place um, there's no point you watching me do the whole lot will take too long uh, it's just a repetition all the way across and once these are glued in glue in the top which I'll show you um, and then we'll make sure it's all squared up and we'll let it sit for eight hours Yeah. yeah, it's only repeated the same process. Making sure we have enough glue. Support and add a bit of glue on each of the sides here. Give us a bit of extra strength. Yeah. I'm not going to add the glue to the top here because that's where we're going to glue this guy in. There's no point putting glue in there and letting that dry until we're ready. And on to the next one. about an excessive amount of glue without putting enough 
glue the units in properly. Something that's going to happen with the excessive glue is it's just going to take a lot longer to dry. Them. All right, I shall complete the rest of them and we'll let it sit. All right, the next thing to add are the dummy barrel strips. And we'll just get fitted through here. I've added the bottom one. Now what I've found is as long as you round the edges slightly and clean it up, then it's only a matter of lining it up. Applying a bit of pressure. Turn it into place. But if you put all these bulkheads in properly, and the actual process of putting it through, is fairly simple. Well, that's it. Now we'll repeat that one on the other side, and then we'll glue it into place. But not too difficult to fit. I'll give you a closer look. And that is the false gun strip. Very, very simple to fit. Alright, we're now adding parts. 20 and 21, which are used to support the planking during the planking stage. Plenty of those in here, like so. Twenty 
Okay, one fits here and lines up flush with the top of where the bowsprit will fit. So we'll put that in next. I'm not putting glue on this side because this panel is not glued in yet. Right, we're now redoing parts 21. Just make sure the glue is nicely covered. Ready for installing it, and it fits flush with the top of the bow spirit. And that is now in place. And we'll repeat the thing on the other side. Thank you. Front plank supports have now been added. Just remember when you do add them, make sure that you test the bowsprit hole and uh, as advised in for somebody else make sure that um, it fits the bowsprit correctly if not adjust it now because it will be very difficult to adjust once you finally planked everything up and that is the whole process done next thing that needs to be done is the dummy arrows between 9 and 10 need to be cut out to allow for the entry <laughs> load. Alright, so now we need to lay in over this extra area here the supports for the deck that have the curvature in them to make sure we've got the correct curve on the deck. And it was just a matter of identifying the parts and uh, gluing them in place. So use a bit of stronger glue for this. Now, what we need to do is follow the plan, which tells us where the pieces fit. First one starts at five. One, two, three, four, five. And we know that it's on the outside of five. It sits here. And it lined up. Nice and straight. Use a clamp to clamp her in place while the glue dries. And the next one is at six on the alternate side is here. Get some glue and glue up again. Okay. 
if he's flush, even on both sides, and clamp it in place. Next is a seven on the alternate on the same side. Yeah, hang on! Wait! The upper deck has been temporarily pinned in place um, before we add the false gun ports along the side of the ship. Now the false gun ports need to be soaked and bent, so um, I'll show you how that process works shortly or in the next video.